Hey, welcome to our morning show, Work and Be Happy. Um, today on an interesting topic that Marek brought to us, our idea maker. Um, should you overwork yourself and like grind really hard when you are young, you don't have experience and you want to be successful in any terms you think that, that what successful means, um, or you should maybe just work like hard enough and have enough time for, uh, for rest. Um, even if you know that may, there are people that are working super hard, maybe in your age, and could overwork you. Um, so from my point of view, like quick answer, you should work hard, but not super hard. That's maybe it. I would like to add something up to the topic, because like, um, if you are not enjoying the work, like you should definitely not work like super, super hard. But I would say the question come up when you really love it. Like maybe as as we were working when we were like 18 year old 20, we were basically five best friends in one office and we were working like day, day and night and it was really fun. And I think like this is when the question really comes up, like should you overwork even if you enjoy it? Like should you sacrifice like most of your time you have in your life for working when this is something you enjoy? That's a very really good question, man. <laughs> uh, I think yes, but again, not like not super hard. You should not give it everything because, like, when you enjoy it, it's it's like for me, it was like spending time on playing games or on playing with my friends outside or doing something. I don't know, stealing some things. <laughs> I'm not sure anything that I would enjoy like the same way I enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Great, <perfect. laughs> I enjoyed I enjoyed um, doing uh, with you like working so it's the same but I know that if you work too much you will burn yourself and like when you are young the threshold for burning is pretty like high but even then there is a threshold at least for me as a creative person I when I work for 12 hours straight on creative work I'm I'm completely out and my work is shitty and when I push it, it's just because there is some kind of deadlines or when we were on the hackathons and it needed to be done. Um, but in general, I like, like, I, I like to spend most of my time on the work or when I was young and right now too, because as you said, I enjoy it. But when I feel it's too much and I'm pushing it too much just to have it done or just to like be successful, it doesn't drive the results. It's like, I'm like, my engine is not. Uh, effective enough and it's not worth it. It's better for me to go and rest or do something other funny and my brain recharges and, and stuff like that. But I'm not sure if, what's your point of view, like developers, because it's, some, it's a bit different. Well, actually, like if you, I think it's different that you can push like three to four days of, of really like 20 hours a day, basically, if it's some big hackathon or some big deadline, but you should almost never do that because like, I think the limit for that is like two to three days. And then after that, mm -hmm. like your performance is going to drop by at least 80%. I personally think that that it's true that, for example, especially if, if you get a little bit older, I also said the, Johanna, after like 18, where basically your treasure really is high and maybe you can like, it's not like you, you, you have that much stuff to do, but if you get too old, older age, let's say, for example, 23 to 30 or something like that, I, I don't think you should like push too hard on, on the business side. You should also have like at least three to four different things basically happening in, in your life to be happy. But I think there can be like isolated instances where even even if you get older or like more mature, it may be needed. For example, I, I always use myself as example when I was first learning to code, basically. So the, some work still had to be done, but but basically at the nights, I had to like in one to three to four months, I, I had to like invest in basically learning how to program, how does the programming work, what, what are the basic concepts and stuff like that. And I, I think this is something that, that could be even worth it in like five years. It's, I understand it's not ideal situation, but I think to be practical, I think so, when you want to make some big changes, there is usually going to be involved like more invested time, basically, just you know by competition, basically. You know? Yeah, that's that's a that's a good like um, how to give it the barriers. Even when you are young, it's maybe good to when you want to really push hard on something, it's good to set 
like goals, like borders of what's your sprint, what you are sprinting for. So, for example, as you said, when you are when you decide to okay, I want to learn programming or I want to build this product, it may make sense uh, to push for two months really hard and like spending a lot of time on that. Um, and when it's done, um, you can again go back into more work-life balance and you will achieve actually a lot of big things because you will push hard on the sprints, but you will have it bordered because if you don't have the border there and you are the kind of person that can be stuck in the grind too much, which is not, I'm, I'm not that person, for example, but for example, I think Marek is kind of that like that. So if, if you really get stuck in the grind a lot, a lot, a lot, and you don't set yourself a border, you can really burn out and, and then it can go like from working hard to working on like not at all and it's really unproductive mm -hmm. too yeah i think it boils down to like actually what's your motivation when you are young because i think at least i think for us it was the case like we were really motivated by you know mm, having like imagination that we will be successful in like one or two years and if you really want to be super mm -hmm. successful in two years you have to give it everything Yeah, but basically the chance of you succeeding if you work from 18 to 20 and like having like a big success there's like almost zero chance you know and yeah that's a good point man and it's it's important to say it's, it's a good point because yeah that, that was exactly what we were thinking like okay we will work super hard right now we will be successful in two years because you You, you see it, people saying that. I'm, for example, Gary, he, he says that. He doesn't mean it like that, actually. If you if you really think about it, he don't say that. But I think many young people can read it like it, you know, can read it like, okay, if you hustle hard for two years, you, there is a huge chance you will be successful. But in reality, it's it's more like, yeah, you may succeed. That's the road to it. That's, you, you will get the best chances, but even that, the chances are pretty low. Yeah, yeah. And it's important to have that in mind because... Like then it may be better to start from the beginning on the site, like really work-life balance and be ready to go on a marathon and not on a sprint. And maybe sometimes sprint on that marathon, as we said before. Yeah, I think this is the most important like kind of mindset you should have. Like you, you should really think long term, like even when you are young. Uh, it's like when you when you are 18 and someone's going to tell you like you are going to do this for 10 years before you are going to have some some kind of success you will be like okay what, what the fuck 10 years that's that's like so much time but as you get older you will get to know that 10 years is it's not that much time you know like you should really aim for setting up you know lifestyle for yourself which is going to be enjoyable for like you know the rest of your life basically yeah it's true exactly but it's true that when you are young you have to put out work a bit more work if you want to be more successful you have to work for free you have to do um yeah a bit more work to make it work to get it going yeah, yeah. i think also like to put a disclaimer on this i think it's also important if you for example decide to not give it your everything which i think is completely fine it actually makes more sense you should also like be realistic and be okay with for example not building unicorns and stuff like that you know you should, yeah, you should also like temper your expectations of what the results will be basically you can have a very healthy business you can have a lot of money but you know you're not probably going to be next on mask by not giving it your all yeah you really want to like change the world and like be the next Elon Musk like there's no other chance like you have to give it everything and then your chance is like 0.1 percent you know but for most of the people I would say for us definitely this is not yeah. the way yeah it's true it's true and but when you are this kind of person you probably feel it in yourself and you actually yeah, have the strong urge I think, like, a, to a do it people... and if you don't have that Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think a lot of people, um, but when you are young, like it, it's, it's much easier to get, I would say like distracted or, you know, manipulated by, by someone else, you know, because a lot mm -hmm. of, I, I would say, yeah. um, I think it, it's just my personal like opinion, but I think like a lot of young people see themselves as the next Elon Musk or like Steve Jobs, but this is not actually their like 
through yourself, you know, like themselves. It's just, you know, something they see in the media, they read in the books and everything, and they get yourself manipulated, like, into this this kind of life. Yeah, but I, I think it's important, like, from my point of view, it's it's important to maybe think like that. Like, it's not bad. I, I wouldn't say it's bad that you think like that. It's 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 totally normal, I believe, and it's good. It's It will drive you, but it's just important to uh, be with yourself and listen to yourself, like, spend time on uh, trying to understand yourself listening to yourself feeling yourself because um you may find it's actually not the thing you want in the future um but it doesn't mean you wasted the years that you put like all in i think we did it and it was worth it um, just it's good to be um conscious about that like like think about what you said exactly it, yeah. it can feel like that Yeah, I think I think actually this is like a very hard topic to to give somebody young advice to because he will probably not listen. Like as yeah. we, like if we watch this video basically five yeah. years earlier, we probably would just say okay, whatever, fuck it, let's go to work. Basically, you know. And I think, but actually, I, I don't think there is anything like wrong with that. I think if you spend like from if if that's something that you enjoyed, like spending 18 to like 23 or 24, like hard working and then using the skills to actually have like work life balance, I think it's actually quite cool, you know. And Like if you if you don't regret the time you did it, then what's there to complain about? Like you, you like more and right now you are you are like better human than you ever before, mm. but it was not like wasted time. Yeah, I, I think to sum it up and to 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 what I think it boils down to is um, it's important to be happy. Like listen to yourself and feel what makes you happy. So if it makes you happy to spend 24 hours a day literally grinding, do it. Uh, But when it starts to feel wrong and it starts to feel really tiring, and I don't mean just tiring, but really tiring, it's okay to step back and, and take a time and, and know that you are on a marathon run than on a sprint run um, and you should enjoy it. Yeah, like you should always do it because you love doing it, you know, not, not for some external yeah. motivation like success, which is going to come. Exactly. All right. This was a. Pray we want to say something. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Sir. All right. All right. This was a really interesting topic, at least for me. Um, I loved to talk about this. Let us guys know what do you think about work-life balance when you are young, when you are starting. How much should you actually grind, and how much should you not grind? Sorry for our English. We are from Czech Republic. We love beer here. We are better at drinking beer than speaking English. Uh, and subscribe. Uh, we will be releasing more videos like this from our own perspective as a small product team that is trying to build a, a sustainable living for themselves. Well, Bye. I'm Ser Serbian, actually, so, you know, I can drink beer. <laughs> Nobody Bye -bye. cares about Serbian. <laughs> <laughs>